Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's change the default orientation for a cryoparametric file. So here we will reorient a cryoparametric file as per our requirement. So in my previous video, I did the same thing for imported file. Now in this video, I will do this for cryoparametric file. So let's get started. And to do this, I have five different parts with me. So these are the parts and I'll use these parts to explain the complete concept. Now here you will see three different part behavior during reorienting the part. So in part 1 and part 2 you will see the first behavior. In part 3 you will see the second behavior. And in part 4 and 5 you will see the third behavior. So let's start with part 1. So this is my first part and this is the default orientation. Now if you see the model tree, you will see all the features listed here. That means it is a cryoparametric file. So this is my default orientation. So if I tilt this part and say control D, it will orient like this. Now my requirement is to make this orientation something like this. So to do this, the general method is go each feature one by one, edit it and change all the references. For example, this front reference, you change it with top and change other concern references one by one. But this is the general method and it consumes lot of time. So I will show you the direct method in which you will get the same result within the few clicks. So let's start that. So this is your default orientation. Now when your part is in default orientation, this is the top direction and this is the front direction. Now when you reorient this part, now this is the top direction and this is the front direction. That means your top datum will become front and your front datum will become top. So this is what we need to do. We need to replace front with top and top with front. And for this, go to the first feature of your part, edit reference, drag it down. Now here you have these many references in the list. Now if you see the front reference, this will become top. But if you see the right reference, this will be as it is in both the orientation. So this is your default orientation. Here this is the right reference. So when you reorient, still it is right only. So in this position, this is your front and this is your top. But in this position, this is the top and this is the front. So top datum becomes front and front datum becomes top. But nothing changed for right. So that is why we will do changes for front and top, not for the right. Now you have one more reference which is body. Now this reference you won't get till Creo 6. This is only available in Creo 7 because Creo 7 is having multi-body functionality. So this reference is getting added automatically. So don't worry about this reference. So now let's change front and top. So first you make the default orientation. Then select the front. Click on child handling. Select all children feature. And make it top. Same thing you do with top. Select the top. Children feature. Make it front. Now see the preview. It got changed. Say OK. Now you tilt this feature and say control D. So this is your default orientation now. Similarly, if you have this orientation as your default orientation and you want to change like this, then that also we can do. So go to the first feature, edit references. Again, here you do the same thing. Select top, child handling, select children features, make it front. Go to front, select children feature, make it top. See the preview and say OK. So this was the first behavior. You didn't get any error and it got converted very smoothly. Now let's open the second part. The second part is also having the same behavior. So we'll directly go to the first feature, edit reference. Expand it. Now here my requirement is to make it like this. So in that case, this front datum will become right and right datum will become front. So select right datum, go to child handling, select all children feature and make it front. Go to front, all children feature and make it right. See the preview and say OK it got converted. Once again, go to the first feature, edit reference, 
front child handling children feature make it right and then right all children feature make it front see the preview and say okay so this was part 1 and part 2 with first behavior now let's open part 3 here also we'll do the same thing we'll go to the first feature edit references expand it now here my requirement is i need this orientation as default orientation so in that case this datum will become this datum and this datum will become this datum that means your front will become right and right will become front so select right datum go to child handling select children feature and make it front go to front children feature and make it right see the preview and say okay now see this is the second behavior this got flipped actually i was looking in this direction this went in that direction so this is the second behavior so if you are facing this behavior then just go to the reference datum either front or right because your front and right got replaced with each other so i'll go with front i will edit this and i'll just flip the datum direction say okay and it's done so this was the second behavior now let's open part 4 to see the third behavior so here also i'll go to the first feature edit reference expand it now here top will be top always but this plane since i am looking for this orientation so in that case this plane right will become front and front will become right so select right no need to do anything for top select right child handling select children feature and make it front similarly go to front children feature and make it right see the preview it got failed but if it is getting failed then don't worry about this just say okay and okay now just go to the first feature edit it now you see your sketch orientation is like this but the moment you go to edit the sketch it will change so this got changed so the failure you was getting just because of this so sometime after replacing the datum it doesn't update automatically now here if you go to reference you have right reference and right reference so there is no front reference that means the front reference is not getting replaced so just select whatever reference you have here update it close it so the moment you close it will tell you that you are having a missing reference say yes once again go to reference and now you can see that there is no second reference so to draw any sketch minimum two references are required so just select the front reference close it go to this option select the center line move this cursor this side again go here right click and select the reference sketch you let it be in isometric way say okay and okay still it is not correct now the same thing you do go to the front edit it flip the datum direction and say okay and your part got reoriented so this was the third behavior so the same behavior you will see in part 5 also so let's open the part 5 so here also go to the first feature edit reference expand it now here also top will be top but front will become right and right will become front so i'll go to right child handling all children features i will make it front and then front all children feature make it right see the preview again part will fail say okay and okay go to first feature you need to update the sketch go to placement edit reference now you see front reference is missing just select front reference close it now you have one weak dimension here go to this option select this point to this reference say okay okay 
Now you see this feature got failed. So if you edit this feature, you see how the sketch is moving. And that is why no need to do anything with these failure features. Once your first feature is corrected, just go to the datum plane and flip the direction. Say OK. And your part got reoriented. So this was the direct method to reorienting any part. You saw three different part behavior during reorientation. So keeping these things in mind, you can reorient any part as per your requirement. So that's it from this video. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.